Uh, this is Richard Cespedes, and uh, I'm here to talk about um, uh, how to solve uh, a polynomial math problem that is uh, in relation to uh, you know something in real life, like how to solve how to solve a problem that's occurring in your own personal life or or anything like that. We're gonna talk about um, work work and how much hours and how much uh, and uh, and how much um, money you made uh, past tense of something that happened before uh, right here in the top we're gonna look at we have right here in the top left corner you have a binomial that's gonna be added to a trinomial the binomial is 2 times x to the fourth power negative x to the third power plus 2 times x to the second power subtracted from x to the zero power subtracted uh, subtracted from 2 this right here is just going to be 2. There's no, since the negative is already, it's kind of an ugly 2, but this right here is a number 2. Subtract it, x to, second, uh, x to 0 power is going to be subtracted from 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to add all this together to make it one flowing, nice looking, um, a polynomial is going to equal this. What we're going to be talking about is this example: a job that you work. Say that you work. Uh, you start working at a job. You started working at a job, and you at, at the job they're paying you two dollars per hour. But in this case, we're going to talk about a fraction of, of what you worked last month. Only a few days of the month that you work. Usually people work every day of a month. But we're going we're gonna to find out the value of the, uh, the money that you made within, uh, within last month. Within the few, uh, by analyzing a few of the days. Right here, you're looking at... Right here, where my finger is. You're looking at two. You're getting paid two dollars per hour, but the exponent here represents the days, because what we're going to talk about is that x is going to equal to a value. We're going to have you work. Um, as an example to explain it, we're going to have you work only two hours per day for four days. Two hours for each for for each day that is up here. Four days. So you got paid two dollars. Two dollars per two uh per two hours for for four days. So two is gonna be multiplied within itself four times. That this is how much you work the first time that you work. This first term is gonna be how much you worked. Two dollars per hour for four days. For two hours for four days. This is what's gonna equal to. Then this negative sign right here is gonna represent uh your boss um, removing some days from your paycheck because you did something wrong that he didn't like. This is three days. Two hours for working three days. This is two hours for working four days multiplied by two dollars per two hours per, per four day per day which is four days. So this is gonna be just removing the three days that you worked from this because that's an example your boss didn't like something you did so he he took out he disciplined you and and right here is another term that This is the polynomial. A binomial being added to a trinomial that then becomes a polynomial. Anything that's above three, a uh, trinomial or three terms is a polynomial. Right here, the binomial up here, it represents a separate situation early in the month that occurred. Or within a week that you worked. The day after or the same day your boss didn't like something and moved three days from your job. And right up here, 
is um, another occurrence that happened last month at the same time but later in that month this trinomial represents you going back to work whatever day you want to pick from that day we're specifically picking out a day where you got in trouble and you're the boss removed a day from the job that you did and he removed two dollars from your paycheck which is right here so we're adding two separate events together that then became a polynomial a description of what is going to happen what what happened so we're looking back and we're thinking hmm what happened how much money did I that I make within these days that I worked and the times that I messed up and got and lost some hours and days because the boss didn't like something I did so that's what we're doing so remember you're getting paid two dollars per hour but it's not per hour it's two dollars per two hours for four days so it's two hours for four days for two hours for each of those days being multiplied all together it's gonna equal this the product of that and likewise this is the same right here too so now we're gonna continue on and we're gonna put the values of X X is equal to 2 so X is equal to 2 x to the fourth power x to the x is equal to 2 and is equal to the fourth power so it means it's 16 so that means that you worked 16 hours in 4 days so what this now becomes because this was this this was this past tense period we're, we're describing this for a moment you work for four days for each of those days you only work two hours and you got paid for each of those days for two hours be multiplied by the two dollars that you got paid for those two hours for four days which then is equal to this two dollars for per per 16 for um per 16 hours you know for, for for the days that you work this is what it's all equal to so you multiply 2 times 16, which is equal to all the days and hours that you worked all together, which is equal to 32. So you got 32. So that means you made $32 for the first day that you started working. So again you got paid you worked for two hours for per four um, for each day that you worked only worked you only worked two hours for each day so that means you work for four days for two hours for each of those days which is raised this right here is then becomes this which means you worked 16 hours in four days then it's multiplied by the two dollars into and to the hours which is equal to $32 altogether. How much money you made. Okay, so now we're going to continue on to 8, which is x to the third power. 8 is equal to x to the third power. But 2 to the third power is equal to 8, so that's what it is. And we're going to look at plus 2 times x to the second power, which is the trinomial. This is the binomial. And this is going to be the trinomial being added together to try to figure out how much money you made. X to second power. You worked for two. So what this is, the trinomial is explaining, is that you work for two days for two hours for each of those days, which is equal to four. So this right here is going to equal so for e for this x to the second power that is equal to that you work for two days for two hours for each of those days being multiplied into the money and the equal is to eight basically so 
this is all we're gonna squeeze it all in here and we're gonna 32 negative 8 plus 8 plus 8 take away 2 take away 2 remember this is just a single variable of x you got in trouble again you got in trouble so the boss took away one day when you put in the values of x then that's when you subtract the two whole sums of the numbers you can't add them because they're not like terms there's no exponent on here but you got in trouble and you lost one day from the job that you worked here so and you also from down here you lost a dollar from all of that this is the trinomial you lost but it's being added together to the binomial so one last thing we're going to do all of this this right here is one is this this is the complete equation right here this is just all description right here so we're going to continue on all of that is equal so from all of the mess ups and all of the things that you did only picking out certain times of the month selected you made 27 uh, 26 uh, 28 dollars you made 28 dollars from all of that and just forget about this you made 20 do 28 dollars from all that by just selecting a few days even though you messed up you only made $28 from all of that. Now that's just a description of how to use a binomial, a binomial of specific time of uh, you're, you're picking four, two or three days of working at some place per hour. Then you know you have to specifically think about what you want to do. Do you want to find a difference of, uh, of separate events of something of how much you worked, how much you got paid early in the month, middle of the month or last of the month and then find a difference between them or do you want to find the sum of how much you worked early in the week late in the month or late in the week and that's what it is that's what all that was that's what all of this is you want to find the value of how much you made early in the month because of occurrences this doesn't have to even be because you got in trouble this could be just that you know just by being inquisitive, you, you want to remove the hours from something that happened or occurred. It doesn't have to be something specific. It just has to be something that's inquisitive that you want to figure out that occurred in your life, that you're trying to find, find out the value of how much money you made for this instance or for that, or for um, the dimensions of a square or, or anything like that. You know, These are all just kind of inquisitive things that people just uh, just do. You're trying to figure out something. But this is just specifically because just to kind of have something that's more insightful in a person's individual life. You know, you find a difference, you got in trouble, you lost three days, you subtract that from that. When you find the values of that, and you find the sum of another time in the month, this is early in the month, this is late in the month, you find the value of going back to work, getting paid. For working for two days two hours for two days this is for working for two hours for four days remember that and you got in trouble again right here you remove that and they also removed the dollar two dollars from this you find the sum of that and this could be the difference and this could be the sum find the sum and then the difference of the binomial the trinomial you don't have to be specific or limited but it's just on what you want to figure out you have to be more expansive to understanding and how to utilize different things and just think further it could be dimensions of a sphere or just dimensions of a square or or um, how fast a car travels in space and time and things like that. And this is just a little example just to show how you would use it in real life. Thank you very much.